Hello and welcome back to Let's Play For The Frog The Bell Tolls, I'm Saber. In the previous episode, we were caught by the Crokians and thrown in jail. In this episode, well, we're gonna break out. Let's begin. Sob, sob. Don't worry, we're gonna get out, Madeline, and you'll see your father, Yoshio Sakamoto, again. The door won't budge. Anyways, now let's... that we've talked to those two things, let's talk to Madeline again. At this rate, I'll be forced to marry Delarin! But why you? You're not a princess. I have no clue! Well, whatever the reason, I can't let him do such a thing. We're getting out of here. And now Jam has appeared. Jam, it's you, isn't it? Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, I don't have the frogs later on me. Ribbit, ribbit. Rib uh, can you understand what I'm saying? Please unlock this door. Ribbit. Just what I expected from the master thief. Thanks. Ribbit, ribbit. Hmm? Do I need anything else? Yes, please free the frogs in the West Tower. There's not much time before Delarin awakes. Ribbit, ribbit. I'm counting on you, Jam. And now that we have Madeline, let's get out of here. Our first item that we get is in this chest, and it is just actually our diary. So now we can save again, which I am just going to quickly save because, well, I just need a safety save. I ran into an issue once, and I just am going to save here. So anyways, we are now in a stealth segment, sort of. We actually are able to fight back with our bare hands, so basically we're going around killing things with our bare hands. And I kind of accidentally try to run here, which I can't escape and get more damage, but anyways, we get to kill ghosts with our bare hands. My god, Prince Cake is awesome. And, yeah, we get to sneak around and go through this castle and try and find our stuff before... Well, basically until our hearts run out. How did you escape from your cell? <laughs> uh, good question, I don't know. Not answering that. Anyways. Some of them uh, you can fight, others it's like, obviously the stronger ones you want to avoid. But, uh, this is just super... Just avoid fighting enemies and try not to, uh get your health down very low, so. Exit! If you just go this way, it's kind of obviously a trap that you can't actually get through it past because you don't have your weapons. So, we have to actually go up above here, which... I don't get these guards, it's like, uh, I'm just ignoring that bouncing sound up there or something, and... Anyways, let's see. And let's not go there! <laughs> hey, let's not fight the strongest guard. <laughs> that would end badly. How did you escape from your cell? And, my god, we're just killing these people with our bare hands. How did you escape from your cell? Oh, come on, Cake, you could have snapped him with your neck. And because, of course, there are, there are mimics, so we get to fight the mimics again. <laughs> and, yeah. And they all just have to say, how did you escape from your cell? Because they're all just, you know, kind of bewildered. And maybe if they had some guards stationed there, they wouldn't be asking these questions. But, eh, minor details. Who cares about that? Anyways. Let's kill some more ghosts. Or maybe not. No. Okay. Oh, yes, we are. Okay. God, they still hurt, though. Ah, well. Luigi, you have nothing on me. I get to punch him with my bare hands. You, you have to just you suck him up with a vacuum cleaner. Ha ha ha. And then this is chest is just a mimic. They love just throwing the mimics uh, here. It's like, oh, we know you're looking for treasure chests with your stuff. So we're going to do everything in our power just to annoy you with mimics. And here is yet another Mimic, because of course there's going to be another Mimic. And it just falls like the rest, and 50 nuts. And, you know, now that I got that, why didn't they take my money? I mean, that seems like a lot more useful, maybe. It's like, just leave me in poverty. <laughs> leave me broken. My items, let's see. It seems something is missing. And Prince Cake got his items back. And the one item that is missing is the Wonder Door. So we can't actually warp out. And even when we do get it, we still actually can't warp out of the dungeon because Madeline is following us. So, now that we've got that, let's just go to the exit. And, oh, I just... Or I could just jump over you. I'll just leapfrog over you. Because, let's see. 
and up here. Just, how did you escape from your cell? And they just get sent flying away. Cake you could have just snapped him by by the neck. <laughs> Anyways, I love that still flying away motion. It's just so funny and silly and and yeah. So just jumping down here and finally the final guard. How did you escape from your cell? That's for me to know and you to die. Anyways, and we the soldier was carrying the warp door. So with that, let's just warp out. And by that, I mean I'll just use the magic of video editing. Oh, Madeline, I was so worried that I was never going to see you again that I was going to make an android named Melissa to replace you. Father! Now that your daughter is safe, I need a favor. By all means, go to Spring Hill and ask them to ring the spring bell at once. I must turn everyone back before Delarin wakes up. I'll set out immediately. Prince, please be careful! And with that... Oh, crap. It's Prince Cake! Give us the girl! If we don't present Lord Delarin with a substitute princess, he'll kill us! What? You still haven't captured the princess? Get him, boys! Oh my god, does she even exist? He's too tough for trade! We should have all just attacked him at once instead of one at a time. Huh, <laughs> guess they were all talk. What's this? And we got the spade key! This is the key to Delarin's room. The time has come to confront him. And so, let's actually just double check this newsflash. Prince Cake to battle Delarin. And yes, we are. Anyways, I'm going to use the magic of video editing to cut away to where we need to be to use that key. And now let's go through the spade door and let's begin. What a thrill. With darkness and silence through the night. And I can't actually sing, so I'm not going to bother singing the rest of the song. So, anyways, this place has ladders. Uh, lots and lots of ladders. So we probably could actually get through all of Snake Eater. If I actually sung, or... I guess I could always just play the uh, MP3. But uh, that would also probably mean getting the wrath of, you know, copyright bots. And Konami is kind of infamous for their copyright bots, uh, almost as bad as Nintendo. So, anyways, I'm actually not that familiar with Metal Gear Solid. I don't like stealth games and really hate mandatory stealth segments in games. I'm a I rush in guns blazing kind of guy. The only Metal Gear game I've beaten is Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, and that's an action game, so yeah. Beyond that, for the main games, I've watched the cutscenes for 3 because it had that theater mode in Subsistence, and I've seen playthroughs and cutscenes online, but that was years ago during the launch and release of Metal Gear Solid 4. I enjoyed Snake and Brawl, and I'd love to see him back in the next Smash, but I doubt that's gonna happen now, since apparently Sakurai and Kojima are friends, and then there's that whole mess with Konami and Kojima, and it's probably better just to think of the Metal Gear Solid series as complete instead of whatever franchise zombie pachinko machine it's going to become. At least with Smash, I'm hoping that if Snake can't return due to the politics between Kojima and Konami, at least he could get a moveset clone or something. I just don't know who would replace him. I don't think there's an Advance Wars commanding officer that would be like Snake. Well, maybe some things are better lost than trying to find a replacement, because then you'd have the fans of that character saying that it's a disservice to them. Oh well, it's sadly a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Anyways, we're pretty much just in the home stretch, and I just gotta say, they really love dragging this section on, because if you think it can't go on any further, it just keeps on going on and on and on. But we're finally in the final building, so that's good. Or final part of the castle, so that's good. It's just, you know, now drawing out this part, because they do love dragging this on, and I, I'm just gonna say that in my platforming skills here probably do not help since, you know, for whatever reason I didn't immediately jump to the other one, but anyways. Hey, look, this is a convenient point of no return. And now just down one long hallway. Now, these snake things, I can actually believe that they actually installed instead of everything else that uh, the castle had as a death trap. I just think that these snake turrets, or whatever they are, can easily be placed wherever. On that note, I'd love these snake turrets to guard my house. Where can I buy them? Seriously, Delarin, you're in the wrong business. Sell this shit. Sort of final guard? 
And he goes down just like the rest. Ah. I don't understand the layout for this castle. It just seems to be going around and around and... Oh, that's gotta hurt. Well, it's been a long journey, but we're finally here at the end of the game. Don't disturb the king's room until spring. <laughs> yeah, right. But that's the next video. In the remainder of this video, we are going over a small feature in the diary that gives us a summary of the game. You may have noticed every time I saved, underneath the right, there is a read. And there are entries. So, once I actually scroll up all the way here, because, oh boy, this is, uh... Yeah, it does not have fast scrolling. We're going to read all the entries in the diary. I've come to rescue Princess Tiramisu from the Crokians. My first stop is a Claire Palace. Richard may be there already. I took a map off a dumb soldier, and then there was a huge earthquake. I carried on, calm as ever. Am I cool or what? Oh yeah. I arrived at the palace, but alas, Richard already left for Alamode. I must extend the bridge to reach it. I extended the bridge and quickly left for Alamode, but something weird is afoot. The locals are avoiding me. I was beaten up, and a thief named Jam stole all my money. It seems he fled to Mount Bavarian, home of the Man home of Mandola, the witch. Today, a vulture attacked me. It seems he's a pet of Mandola's. Despite that, she gave me a potion that can defeat Delorin. Just as I caught up to Jam, I fell into a well. I thought I was done for, but I turned into a frog instead. What will I do? Oh, cruel fate, I met up with Froggy Prince Richard today. No use whining, we'll work together. We'll work to search the palace together. I obtained the warp door in the palace, but I can't complete my search as a frog. I'll find Mandola so I can turn back. To turn back, I must either wait for the spring bell or fork my cash over to Mandola. Looks like I have to pay. Tricked again, the potion didn't even turn me back. I'll never forgive that evil witch or bitchy McBitch bitch. I'll catch up to her in Hop Hop. Now I have three forms. Wet, frog, egg, snake, fruit, fruit human. Next I'll sneak through the snake's den. Got to Spring Hill, but the spring bell is, is broken, and it's 1,067 nuts to fix. Jinbi will pay for it if I bring him gold. A guy in Alamode knows where the gold mine is, but everyone was kidnapped and taken to the palace. I saved all the citizens. I love a good deed. I also found out that the gold mine is past Meringue Glacier on Mount Pudding. A boulder blocks my path. It seems the Nintendo Company... It's really Nintendo, who cares? Bra on Brown Sugar Island has an item that can move it. The Power Glove. It's so bad. Arrived at Nintendo, I made friends with Dr. Nit and promised to get him some wasabi from the jungle. Aren't I nice? No, not really. I beat a giant centipede and got the wasabi. The doctor gave me a new glove for it. Now I can go on the, onto the glacier. It's too cold for frogs or snakes on the glacier. A sign of an ice cavern says cast the spell. A local elder knows how. There's a weird frog who won't let me enter the Elder's Hut. I return to the village, and it seems Riding Hood is missing. I found Riding Hood in the forest. She says the shop owner is a scoundrel. I must right this evil in the name of justice. I defeated the shop owner. As a gift, Riding Hood gave me a hat that lets me talk to frogs. Now about that hut. I finally met the Elder, and he gave me the spell. Well, time to go through the ice cavern and head to the mine. Arrived in Pudding, the Crokians have seized the mine and all the workers sit idle. I've got to get in. I've turned into a frog and snuck into the mine, but it's so deep that I can't excavate it by myself. I'll need workers. I've rehabilitated Russ, the town drunk. He has assembled a team of excavators, or supply. I found a magic sword in the mine, but then molten gold erupted, thawing out an angry mammoth. I must defeat it. I lost the fight to the mammoth. What a disgrace. Hopefully Dr. Nit has finished his art animal control device. Perfect timing. Dr. Nit gave me the Mammicon, his new gizmo. This time we'll see who's boss. Wahahaha! I teamed up. I tamed the mammoth. Now I'll have that it drag the lump of gold on the lakeside to Jimby on in Spring Hill. Repairs on the bell have begun. However, Richard was nabbed during the Crokian's frog hunt. I must go to the palace. I found the soldier's 
soldier frogs, but I messed up and was caught. I was put in a cell with a girl named Madeline. What will we do? I've returned Madeline home. Some Crokians followed me, but I defeated them and stole the key to Delarin's room. And with that, that is the end of this episode. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.